It's 706 and these uncertain times have lots of Americans thinking and planning for the future. Right now there is especially a sense of urgency for people to set up a will. You have a meeting with a lawyer face to face is more complicated than it was before. Kylie joining us to tell you how you can get your affairs in order without leaving your house. Good idea. Good morning. Good morning, and I'm not leaving my house right now, and I'm having some technical difficulties, but I think we can do it. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about creating a will, a rush to create a will. Look at this CNBC article. It says Americans rush to make wills in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. So this is one of the areas maybe you haven't thought about it, but maybe you should be. Now is a time that a lot of people are thinking and maybe planning for the future, and that could potentially mean getting that will in place if you haven't already done so. Now you can actually do it virtually. There is a creative way that you were able to not even leave your home. You can do it from the comforts of your own home. You can be in your PJs and finish your will. So let's go ahead and tell you a little bit about how it works. In Arizona, you need two witnesses and a notary to sign a will and make it valid. Arizona doesn't allow virtual notarization yet, but other states do. So Radix Law in Scottsdale uses notaries now in other states to help in the process. Jonathan Fruitkin says times are changing and they want to be more flexible as people practice social distancing and avoid going out in public. So basically what you're doing is you're signing your name instead of on a piece of paper, you are signing it using your mouse or using your trackpad and you're signing it and we're all watching you sign it at the same time on the screen, we're watching your signature appear. Jonathan says that they also create a recording of that just to have it in case anything happens. And he also wants everybody to know, hey, even if you don't have a will in place, make sure you fill out this form. This is the state's power of attorney form. He says everybody needs to fill it out. It is free. We've got a link to it on our website right now, easyfamily.com. Just click on the as seen on GMAS section. You can fill this out to make sure if something happens for you, not just with the coronavirus, but anything, you're in the hospital, that you do have something in place. So guys, I'm going to you know what I will say? Being live from your home, it sounds easy, right? But it's actually a little bit more difficult, especially when your equipment breaks right before and you're trying to kind of jimmy rig everything and you don't have a photographer. So I have a newfound respect for photographers and we're going to send it back to you live in the studio. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job, Kylie. Thank you.